Hi everyone, it's Front Row Phyllis and we are live at Millennium Park in Chicago at the second annual St. Jude Dream Chicago benefiting St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It is an evening filled with incredible activities from restaurant tastings from around the globe, live and silent auctions, and special performances by season 19 of American Idol, Grace Kitzler, and the R&B sensation, The Pointer Sisters. Everything St. Jude Children's Research Hospital does is centered around one mission, finding cures, saving children. Stay tuned for all the highlights. An American R&B group from California achieving unstoppable success in the 70s, 80s, and continuing winning three Grammys and receiving a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Welcome, Ruth Pointer, the Pointer Sisters, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you us. for having us. Oh my thank gosh, you. we are so excited for tonight. You know, your songs are still relevant. People still want to hear them. They sing to them. What makes them so infectious? Well, I think we were infectious. Right? The group was infectious. It really was. You know, I was watching some clips of our career that almost brought me to tears because there's only two of us still, you know, remaining. And uh, it just was like, whoa, we were having a good time. And I think that is what kept our music relevant is because we were always having a good time on stage and the audience just fell right into that infection, you know? Now, do you have a favorite, I know it's hard, but do you have a favorite song that you love to perform? Neutron Dance, probably because that was my mother's favorite too. Okay. She loved to watch me do that song. Really? I think because of the gospel feeling of it. And my mother was a minister, you know, and she, yeah. I used to sing in church and she loved to watch me sing. Do you remember when you were little and you would do that and? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My mother would shout and I'd shout right beside you her. Did, right? Right? <laughs> Yes, mama mind. shouting, I got to shout too. <laughs> exactly. And that yes. was allowed. That was okay. Yeah. Right? Was, oh, yes, indeed. Yes, <laughs> indeed. Hysterical. Oh, my God. So tell us what you guys have been up to lately. Well, I perform now with my daughter, Issa, okay. and my granddaughter, Sadako. It, it really is a, a, amazing, you know, that they just fell right in. Of course, they grew up watching me and my sisters sing. Right. And so they know all the songs and when I asked them if they wanted to, you know, step in when Anita retired and lost June. And, and they said, oh, my God, they thought I was just kidding. I said, oh, no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> right. I'm serious. And they've been singing with me now. My daughter's been singing with me for about 15 years. My granddaughter maybe for about 10. You know, I also <laughs> read that you guys, um, there's something that you did in Hollywood. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. My, my sister, Anita, yeah. uh, who is, we call her the family hoarder. Okay. Because she gives nothing and throws nothing away. Oh. And she has saved, I mean, a, 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 like a pleasure of, of our costumes and, and even one of our old trunks that we used to carry around that had a microwave in it and cassette tapes, thank you very much, <laughs> and a cassette player. Oh, well, you gotta have that. And it was a, one of those big trunks, you know, and she put that in the, 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 our, the Hollywood Museum is uh, the whole second floor of our entire life. Wow. And all of our costumes. Ola Hudson, who is the mother of Slash from Guns N' Roses, oh, wow. was our first stylist. <laughs> and we have all those costumes that Bob Mackie made when we did the Carol yes. Burnett shows and the Cher show and Flip Wilson. And my oh, sister man. has all of it. She's she must have it. a separate house just to house all that. Well, right? she's got a really nice house yes. in Beverly Hills. <laughs> yes. So, one last question is, um, what does St. Jude mean to you guys? I was just yeah. so, I, I, no pun, but I was just so excited even just to see Marlo right. Thomas. Right. And I'm like, is that girl? Is that girl? And I, you know, I'm old enough to remember the Danny Thomas show. Right. Right. And then that girl. That girl. And when this whole St. Jude thing first began. Yeah. And I'm just in awe of it. And whenever I you know, see some sort of advertisement or something on television, you know, I'm brought back to those times when right. it first started. Right. And I think it's just a wonderful thing that, yeah. that Danny Thomas started. I know. And that Marlo has continued. Thank God for it's, them. Well, yeah. we 
Love having you here. We cannot wait for tonight's performance. We're so excited. Okay, yes. yes. I'm so excited. We're honored that we were asked to be, the, be here and do this. Thank you again. Thank you, Front Row Phillip. We have had an incredible night here at the second annual St. Jude Dream Chicago. But it can't stop here, not until no child dies from cancer. Please go to stjude.org to donate. Live from Millennium Park, it's Front Row Phyllis.